Hello and welcome to this CAVGO Maker tutorial. Today's tutorial we are going to bring in multiple 3D models and process them through CAVGO Maker. So to start off with we open a new job. Oh, our material is set what we want it for. High resolution because we're dealing with 3D models. We're working in millimeters. Now, you can choose any corner of the material you like, but normal for CNC routers is this left hand front corner. So we're going to press OK. And we are in the 3D window. To alter the 3D and 2D window, you just press these tags. So we're in the 3D window. So we'll immediately jump in to Relief, Import, 3D Model. And of course it's C3PL. And this dialog box comes up. It looks a little complex, but it's very easy to work with. So I will just move him over. Now what I'm doing is hovering over the model. I'm pressing left and right key down together and I can bodily move it around. Zoom in a little. It's a very good model this one. Now then what we need to do is make him a little smaller because he's much bigger than our material. In fact he is 467 millimeters in height. So we're going to take him down to more manageable 250 and if you notice because these are checked it's uh, the aspect ratio is locked so we'll press apply so now he's a manageable size now we need to rotate him uh, because he is well off the material and he's in the wrong orientation so we're going to put him in the right orientation so we're going to we're going to turn him about his, his, his middle and we're going to rotate him over in his X. So we're going to rotate him over 90 degrees. Okay, and press apply. So, but he's, he's hovering in the air. Now to get him down on the material, easy way to do it is just press center. And he is now positioned right in the center of our material which is very good but he is still on the very top he's laying on the very top with his uh, backpack on the top of the material and he's still hovering in the air we need to sink him into the material because we can only cut half of him with the CNC router unless we're using a fourth axis of course um, so what I'm going to do, and you would do this using a, with a fourth axis too, as you would need to have the model center line in the center of the material. So it's really no different, if you get my meaning. But we need to sink him into this material now. Um, and I know this model is about 50 millimeter from the tips of his fingers to his backpack. So we're going to sink him in about 20 millimeters, I think. So we're going to do that here. So we're going to say minus, because we're going to sink him back into the material, minus 20 millimeters. So we're going to apply that. And there you, there you are. But I can see there's a problem here. So turn him around. See, we're losing some of his legs. This isn't very good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him back out to probably minus 18. Apply. So we brought him up a little bit, but we're going to rotate him around his axis. I'm going to try two degrees. So let's try two degrees and see what happens. Uh, it probably looks okay actually. That looks pretty good. That's okay. I like that. Good representation. Um, 
if oh no, actually when I paste him down by pressing this button, which I don't want to do yet, um, what Cavco will do was would be to fill this material in here. It would build this up. Um, I can't do anything about his arms being up in the air because that's this model. Uh, and I want good sort of resolution. I want good height to the body. So I can't really alter this. But that's okay. Um, it really doesn't matter much to us. But what I want to do to give me enough room uh, on this material, because I don't actually want him in the center, because I won't see uh, R2-D2 rather to come in, in here. All right, so I'm going to have to move him over this way. So that would be moving him in the X. Now, this is showing me that his central line here is 150 millimeters. So we want to move him over about 25 millimeters. So that would be 125. So we're just reducing it by 25 millimeters. Press apply. And I think. That's good, that's good. Zoom back out. And now we're going to paste. And you can see that it is built up the material here. Now, it looks a bit weird there, but actual fact, when you look at him front on, it's fine. Uh, and I suppose if you cut this on a CNC router, you can go in here with a file afterwards and uh, remove this material and some paper, and it'd be okay. Um, but um, for this demonstration, I think this will be fine. It's really just to show you how to bring a full three-dimensional model into Cavco Maker and actually use multiple um, 3D reliefs that are not uh, in Cavco Maker, you know, not in the library. And indeed, you could put these in the library if you wanted to. So we're going to come out of that, and we're going to now go back into Relief and Import and... R2-D2. There he is. Oh, very big uh, as well. Which is okay. We, you know, we can move him around and make him any size we want. So let's zoom in. And as it scale, let's, um, let's scale him down to about, let's say, 100. And apply. Mm. Let's. He. Oh, he's again. He's up in the air. So we're going to centralize him, which puts him, buries him in there, which we don't want. And we're going to take him over. Uh, so we're going to plus, um, I suppose. 180 and apply oh, a bit more 200 maybe apply that's looking a little better yep I can probably get away with that and we will rotate him around 90 degrees again and apply that and we will centralize him. Oh, no, we didn't want to centralize him. No. 200. See, you can't really make a mistake. If you made a mistake, it's very easy to, you know, sort of um, rearrange things. So what we need to do now is sink him, sink him in and drop him down. So... We need to come, I think, take him down to 120 here, and apply. Let's first of all have a look to see whether he is indeed 
under the hand are a little bit more. Let's say 100. Apply. We should probably have him down. Do you know I'm going to make him a little bigger? I'm going to make him a little bigger. Um, so that would be in the Y. So we're going to do this in a percentage. So we're going to say 120% apply. Make him a little bigger. Yeah, that's probably dimensionally right. I think. Uh, but we need to come lower. So you can, you know, sort of play play with these figures. Uh, 90. And easily move the objects around. Um, now then, we need to sink him into the material a bit. So that's, we'll go minus... Minus 20 and apply. So this is looking I set a little bit too far. I think maybe minus 30. Oh, of course, that should have been minus 30. A little bit too far. See, if you go too far, you start losing geometry. So I'm going to say minus 25. See, if you make a mistake, it's just easy to easy to come back. And I think we'll just move him over slightly because we're just on his foot. I mean, if we're going to do it, we'll do it right. So I think we'll move him over. Um, I'll move him down a little too. That's another, another 10, I think. Oh. Okay. Probably a little better. And down to 85. That's it. They're on the same plane. I'm happy with that. But bear in mind, this is going to be built up underneath here as well. So we're going to say paste. And there we are. That is pretty good. And I think if you machined this in a nice piece of pine or something like that, um, I think this would look good on any child's wall. In fact, it looked pretty good on mine too. <laughs> that is that I really like that. I really like that. That's they're they're really good. Okay, so that is how to import and treat uh, 3D models into Cav Code Maker. So they don't have to be into the library. You can import a good 3D file in from anywhere you choose and you can treat it in Cav Code Maker, Maker Plus or, or the main program Cav Code. These are very good representations actually. You know, you'd be able to machine these straight away. Uh, in other videos, I have actually showed you how to cr uh, create the toolpaths for something like this. Um, so I would just be repeating myself, I think. So um, if you'd like to go and see one of my other videos, or indeed the Cavco um, 
tutorial videos done by CAFCO themselves or at CAM because all the at CAM tutorial videos apply to this program because CAVCO is the new name of AdCam. So, please press like, subscribe to my channel, and indeed, if you would like to become a patron of this channel, that would be a help as well. And at the end of this video and below this video, above the comment section in the video description, you will find an affiliate uh, address and a CAVCO 5% code. So you can go along and purchase or license or monthly, whatever you choose to do, um, and get an additional 5% off. So thank you for joining me. And it's bye for now.